Hi everybody, just a really quick plea for you to uh, eat organic foods, all organic foods, as much as possible. Um, and I'll take a minute to tell you why. Uh, there's a pretty straightforward reason for this. It's not hocus pocus and uh, it's not a marketing ploy. I have nothing to gain from this really other than uh, your benefit. Um, and the reason is um, uh, large commercial farms uh, of, of conventional farming uh, once they, they tend to grow the same thing over and over again, first of all, that's the, that's the um, traditional model. And uh, even if they don't, um, still they're only required to put four or five things back into the soil. So uh, like the chemicals and nutrients that are drawn out of the soil. Remember, when a plant grows, it grows from the water and it grows from the sun, right? Gets oxygen, carbon dioxide, and also uh, it pulls its nutrients that make up the actual physical structure of the plant um, and the chemical structure of the plant it pulls them right out of the earth. So uh, if you just think about this, the first crop on virgin soil uh, is going to be very healthy. It's going to have all the, the minerals uh, and, and nutrients that the plant needs, provided it's a, 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 a fertile soil. But the thousandth, the hundredth or the thousandth crop, if you're only putting certain nutrients back into that soil, um, Plants are made up of many, many thousands of different chemical compounds so and different elements and such. So it's, they're not just made up of four things. They're made up of many, many things. So uh, a really quick uh, data set here. Um, the study done at Rutgers University um, recently uh, looked at the um, uh, different content, uh, chemical content of different types of vegetables. And for example, uh, they looked at the highest and lowest um, chemical content and say, for example, for snap beans, they looked at, in the study they looked at, for, for iron content in snap beans, the highest was 227, 227 parts per million, and the lowest was 10 parts per million. 10 parts per million. That's less than 5% of what the highest was. For tomatoes, iron content, 1,938 parts per million. That's 1,938 parts per million on the highest and the lowest was one part per million. Remember, the, uh, the error rate on these types of tests is at least one part per million. So there may have been nothing in there, one part per million. So, so the highest had 2,000 times as much iron as the lowest. So are you getting enough of these, uh, you know, uh, potassium, sodium, mag magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, total ash mineral, boron, copper? You know, some of these are replaced, but some of them are not. And uh, even the ones that are replaced, like uh, phosphorus, for example, there's not as much variation. In the highest, there's about twice as much as in the lowest. Okay, so that's not much variation, but that's something that's replaced. So please, organic foods, they use organic fertilizers, which are um, made up of plant material, degraded plant and animal material. And those materials provide many, many more nutrients. They provide thousands and thousands of uh, different chemical compounds to the soil. So uh, not to belabor the point, but please eat organic. Uh, you are doing yourself a huge service uh, by doing that. And um, we will talk more about deficiencies later in another time.